Hello students, how are you today? Last time, we have discussed the vital role of research in our society as it brings clarity on confusing facts and such. Right now, we are going to discuss about quantitative and qualitative research. Any ideas about quantitative research? Hmm, how about qualitative research? Can you write them down on your notebook class? Any words related to quantitative and qualitative research? Alright, but before thoroughly discussing our lesson for the day, let us have a run through first to our today's objectives. First one, describe the characteristics, strengths, and weaknesses of quantitative research. Next, illustrate the importance of quantitative research across fields. Third, compare and contrast qualitative and quantitative research based on some standards. And, draw distinctions between a qualitative research and a quantitative research through a Venn diagram. So this is the definition of quantitative research. This type of research checks theories and makes predictions by calculated quantities, and then uses numerical figures to characterize an occurrence. Therefore, class, statistical analysis is used to analyze the numbers derived from the results. Objectivity of the test in this respect is a guarantee, remember that. Quantitative approaches rely on objective measures and numerical analysis of data obtained by questionnaires or surveys and generalization of findings through different classes. A quantitative research study's overarching objective is to classify features, count them, and build statistical models to explain the observable phenomena. This methodology is used especially in studies of the social sciences, which typically analyze abstract variables. So one of the advantages of quantitative research is that a certain degree of bias is removed by analyzing numbers taken from the results. Since the variables are operationally described under the examination, the generalizability of findings is strong. This means the quantitative method is applicable to broader population. Let's move on to the disadvantages of quantitative research. The research focuses only on the topic under investigation. Consequently, the interpretation of the results can only be based on the results obtained from the statistical evidence, meaning to say, explanations are mostly specific. Another type of research is qualitative research. This type of research aims to provide description of characteristics, kind, and quality of a subject while interpreting and attempting to understand an event. I know that this type of research has already been discussed to you when you were in grade 11, right? So I am pretty sure that you are knowledgeable about this one already. So let us move on to the next slide. One of the advantages of qualitative research is that it provides description about the real experience of the people in the situation being studied. More so, it focuses on the phenomenological aspects of a certain situation in a community. One of the disadvantages of qualitative research is that the generalizability of the findings are lacking as the descriptions take on a dynamic and personal account of what is occurring in this type of research as it uses the actual responses of the subjects in the interpretation, taken individually. Alright, since we are through discussing the advantages and disadvantages of quantitative and qualitative research, let us move on to qualitative versus quantitative research. Allow me to read the standards first, students. For the main data, 
Under qualitative research, the main data is in the form of words or descriptions. Under quantitative research, on the other hand, it is in numbers and statistics format. Alright, for the population, when we say population students, this is a complete collection of elements or the persons or objects having some common characteristics identified by the researcher's sampling criteria. Under qualitative research, it says there that the population is based on the design, it has no required number. Because under qualitative research, population is often based on the design of the study. There is no required number, but most likely, the population is smaller than the population in a quantitative research. Because under the quantitative research, the more respondents, the better findings it could get. For the interpretation of data and treatment of data, under qualitative research, it is said to be that it uses the actual responses of the subjects in the interpretation as the data is transcribed as it is. Note additional, no computation, just getting the theme of every answers of the participants in treating the data. That is the reason why the treatment of data under qualitative research is thematic. When we say thematic or thematic analysis, it is a method for identifying and recording the patterns or repeated patterns in the data obtained. On the other hand, under quantitative research, the interpretation of data is taken as one because it requires a larger number of subjects and allows for a wider analysis, as well as improving findings, generalization. Under treatment of data, as I have mentioned earlier, using such statistical treatments are needed as it deals with data in numbers. Let's move on to the cost and effect relationships. Under qualitative research, it is said to be explained by people's objective desires or the subject's perspective toward a phenomenon. Whereas under quantitative research, the cause and effect relationships are revealed by automatic descriptions of circumstances or conditions. And you know what, guys? This has something to do with the variables that will be discussed in the next lessons to come. For the researcher's involvement with the object or subject of the study under qualitative research, it is subjective. Researchers are sometimes personally engaged as they attempt to understand human actions and the causes behind such behavior. Well, through this type of research approach, researchers tend to get subjectively absorbed in the subject matter. Whereas under quantitative research, it is subjective. It has least involvement by the researchers. It is subjective in the sense that it seeks only detailed measurements and analysis of target concepts to adjust its inquiry. For the expression of data, data analysis, and findings, under qualitative research, data presentation shall be in the form of words, pictures, or objects, such as artifacts. When you are doing a qualitative research, statistics in the form of graphs are most likely to appear in your discussion. Whereas under quantitative research, what will appear in the data presentation is in the form of numbers and statistics. More so, the findings are focused upon greater sample sizes reflecting the population, and the findings of the research are more objective and accurate. Typically, quantitative analysis uses certain methods on a few variables to ensure data reliability in order to support a certain generalization by using a description of data. For the research plan, under qualitative research, it says there that it takes place as the research proceeds gradually. Data gathering procedures changes as the research goes by. Under quantitative research, it says there that it tends all research aspects before collecting data, meaning all aspects of the analysis are meticulously and carefully planned. Clear, clear? Alright. For the behavior toward research aspects and conditions, under qualitative research it says there, 
that it desires to preserve the natural setting of research feature. As its primary goal is to provide a complete, detailed description of the research topic. More so, it is usually more exploratory in nature. On the other hand, under quantitative research, there is a control or manipulation of research conditions by the researcher because the data are typically obtained using more standardized research tools and has a clearly identified investigative question to which objective responses are obtained. Under obtaining knowledge or for obtaining knowledge, it says there that under qualitative research makes use of the multiple methods or the focus group discussion, interview, observation, the researcher under qualitative research utilizes multiple data gathering techniques depending on the direction of his work or method. Alright, class? Data gathering techniques used in qualitative research include individual in-depth interviews. I'm pretty much sure that your practical research one teacher have mentioned this to you already. But let's just have a very quick background or recall. Or organized and unstructured interviews. Have you heard that term already? Unstructured interviews? Alright. Focus groups or the focus group discussion or the FGD, video or documentary analysis. Whereas, under quantitative research, it makes use of the scientific method as I have mentioned um, last time. It utilizes tools such as questionnaires, surveys, measurements, and other equipment to collect numerical or measurable data. Can you still follow class? Are you still with me? Are you still awake? I hope you are. Alright, let's move on to the limitations of quantitative research. Although quantitative data may test a hypothesis, their background can be restricted in explanation. Why? This is because the argument always concentrates as a base on empirical data. Second limitation of quantitative research is that the findings may not necessarily represent real-life situation described in the question. Why? Because the work is often carried out in an artificial environment where some degree of control is exercised. Alright, therefore, the use of analysis methods can only reflect the point of view of the researcher rather than the subject. Alright, are you still up, students? I hope you are. Alright, let's move on to the importance of quantitative research across fields. Let me read to you. The importance of quantitative research lies heavily in generating results that will represent reliable calculation and a detailed data analysis. More so, it is just useful in gaining an accurate view of the universe of people, objects, places, and events, meaning attaching accurate or exact meanings to objects or subjects rather than inflated meanings resulting from the researcher's bias or personal attachment to the things related to research. More so, requiring the use of reliable measurement instruments or statistical methods, a quantitative study enables people to study their surroundings as objective as they can. Such study is also an effective method of obtaining information on defined personality traits of a group member or group as a whole in terms of the nature of the relationship of their characteristics and the explanation for the inconsistency of the characteristics of certain individuals. Clear, clear, class? Alright. Alright, students. We know that people are doing work to find solutions to problems, even preliminary ones, in order to strengthen or enhance ways of doing things, to disprove or provide a new theory, or to simply to find answers to questions or solutions to everyday problems, right? Research results will, among others, all right, influence the lives of every citizen, their ways of doing stuff, legislation, rules and regulations, as well as policies. Broadly speaking, quantitative analysis is mostly used because it focuses on proof rather than 
discovery. All right, it says there that quantitative study in the natural and social sciences is the systematic analytical analysis of measurable phenomena by statistical, mathematical, or computational technique. Importance of quantitative research across field is that the quantitative work or quantitative research aims to establish and employ phenomena-related mathematical models, theories, and or hypotheses. The measuring method is important to quantitative analysis as it provides a fundamental link to quantitative relationships between empirical observation and mathematical expressions. Just like health sciences, under that we have medical sciences, dentistry, nursing, pharmacy, and etc. They use quantitative research methods such as descriptive, pre-experimental, quasi-experimental, true experimental, case study, and among others. Alright, those types of quantitative research will be discussed next lesson. Do you have any questions, class? Is everything clear so far, class? Any questions? Hmm, if you have questions, do not hesitate to ask your practical research to teacher. Alright, are we good? Thank you for joining today's class. See you next meeting. Stay safe and God bless. Bye! Happy learning at home with lessons made easy by Olivarian Go Teach. One proud Olivarian.